Hello there guys, welcome back again here to my YouTube channel and for today's video, I'll be sharing you the ultimate super sniping build for PvP and grinding. This build is budget friendly making it suitable for semi spender and free to play players. It's also one of the most commonly used build for efficient grinding. It's also great for PvP since it has an AoE capabilities and pack a strong punch in terms of damage. However, similar to sharpshooting in a 1v1 scenario, opponents can easily evade you by circling around you. But when it comes to guild events, this build shines brightly. Its AoE nature ensures that multiple targets are hit, making it a highly effective and if you're a whale and invest in this build, you're likely to take down a significant number of opponents with just one shot. But before we move into the video, I just want to give you a heads up that we are still providing pilot services, discounted top up if you are interested. You can message me on my Discord channel or Facebook page, link is on the description below. And also smash the subscribe button so you can be updated on my next guide which is the ADL rug build. So without further ado, let's get started. As you can see in the video when it comes to grinding, this build is incredibly efficient. In contrast to sharpshooting, this build has no casting time, ensuring a swift gain of experience without any issue. Moreover, when dealing with MVPs, it performs well, the skills are spammable and like the sharpshooting, making it a reliable choice in those situations. Now let's dive into the skills required for this build. First and foremost is Super Sniping Shoot. It's a potent AoE arrow attack that deals 900% neutral damage. This skill can also be complemented with elemental arrows. Moreover, hitting the target grants you one stack of Breeze. Speaking of Breeze, it's the icon you can observe on the bottom left of the screen resembling a wolf logo. Uh, Breeze can charge up to maximum of 8 stacks. It serves as our gauge to determine the number of Breeze charge we currently have. Next is Blast Shoot. Uh, blast Shoot is similar to Super Sniping but instead of dealing 900% neutral damage, it deals 2000% neutral damage. Additionally, it can also grant Breeze. As we discussed earlier that every time you use Super Sniping, Blast Shoot or even Arrow Tornado, you gain 1 stack. Then when you accumulate 3 stacks from Super Sniping and the other skills that I mentioned, the skills goes on cooldown immediately. Next is the power of Breeze. The passive effect of this skill in the build is for every accumulated Breeze, you gain an additional 10 physical ignore defense and 3% movement speed and this effect can stock up to maximum of 8 types. And when you activate the skill, it will immediately reset the cooldowns of all the ranger bow skills. Additionally, Blast Shoot's damage increased by 100% and it has no cast time or cooldown for 5 seconds. This effect consumes all of 8 breezes. For a skill combo in MVP Team Rewards or PvP, uh, just need to activate Blast Shoot and spam it to achieve higher damage. By the way, you can also check out my other Ranger Guide which is the Warg Rider build. I'll include the link in the description below. As for the GX Guide, I'm currently working on it. I just have a bit of a sore throat now but I'll finish it by the end of this week. For stats allocation, uh, prioritize luck to increase your critical hits for super sniping. 
invest in dexterity for improved range damage and consider adding points to vitality for increased durability and max HP. For skill point allocation, you can simply copy or mimic this build. For gears and equipment, the best bow that you can use is the elk bow. Elk bow is more optimal because blast shoot or bla blast shot is where the real power lies. With the elk bow, blast shot or blast shoot can reach up to 40 million critical. Imagine that guys. If you use malang bow, the downside is your blast shot or blast shoot won't crit. That's why the elk bow is the best choice for us. As for the set, the white wing suit is viable option. Alternatively, uh, the magic flow set works well especially if you have a high intelligence stats for enchantment i highly suggest focusing on raw stats like luck and critical and when it comes to weapon and accessory prioritize sharp enchantment as you need high critical for the blast shoot to crit effectively The best course that you can use is Launch Anticipation. It will provide you a chance to stun the target. And additionally, uh, Blast Shoot Assistance it will give you a chance of 30% to have an AoE effect and it will deal double the damage if there's only one target. For stargazing and energy matrix, simply copy this build because I'll be uploading a different video specifically covering this topic.
And again guys, thank you for watching my video. If this video was helpful for you, is make sure to click the subscribe button to get more updates on my Ragnar Origin video and see you on my next videos.